just fun. In what way? In the way that we're alone together having fun way. Ah, uh, I didn't think about it like that. It gets us out of the house. Why would you want to leave the house? We spent a fortune on that house. Right. <laughs> All the renovations you made me do, we love that house. It gets us away from the boob tube. The what? The boob tube. I wish that's what it was. <laughs> If that's what it was, I would never leave the house. <laughs> this is good for us. This connects us face to face. And why do you want to leave the house to connect our faces? We could be on our comfortable sofa with a comfortable beer and some comfortable... What? Football. Football? Just in the background. is background noise. We don't need background noise. Everyone needs background noise. I want to concentrate on our foreground noise. Laughing, chatting, bonding. Bonding doesn't make a noise. <laughs> it can, Frank, if you let it grow into something more. I read that in Cosmo. <laughs> I read an article in Cosmo that had tips on connecting you better to your mates. Oh, no. It works, Frank. All these testimonials from happy girlfriends and wives and women who You're not happy? I'm happy, Frank. To a point. Cosmo <laughs> thinks I could be happier. <laughs> That's what I'm experimenting with. Oh, so this is an experiment. I didn't think this is what Cosmo meant by couples experimenting. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, Frank. What, fun? If you play your cards right. <laughs> I hope that's an innuendo. Frank, what? You want to shuffle? No. Well, come on, it'll be fun. Shuffling? Shuffling is fun? Try it. No, thank you. Want to cut the deck? Nope. <laughs> How about deal? You go ahead. You sure? The surest. Okay. Good luck. But you know what? They say 56% of the time, the dealer wins the hand. Who says? Card Player Magazine. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Okay. Do you, uh, do you know what's on tap? On top of what? On tap. <laughs> Not on top. <laughs> on tap? On tap. They got any beer? This isn't one of your watering holes, Frank. It's a cafe. No beer? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounds like the opposite of beer. <laughs> They're delicious. Yeah, deliciously boring. Just try one. No, thank you. <laughs> How about a peppermint tea? Oh, you're just making it worse. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> Come on, why are you doing this to me? If I did something wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> In fact, just tell me so I don't do it again. You didn't do anything wrong, Frank. Then why are you doing this to me? It's not that bad. Please. Oh, stop it. Now, are you ready? Do I have a choice? Of course you have a choice, Frank. It's a free world. If you want to be a bad sport, we don't have to play. Ugh. We don't have to do anything. Ugh. Hey, I know. We can just go home and do the same old, same old Ugh. thing. Go to bed early. You can watch TV until you fall asleep Ugh. on that couch again. And I'll wake up early just to clean up after you, like usual, like how I always do, Frank. And then we'll go to work grumpy and come home like zombies. How is that? <laughs> What's wrong with grumpy zombies? <laughs> they don't have good relationships. Oh. Can you just try, Frank? I don't know. Look, if you don't like it, we don't have to play. Promise? <laughs> you have to make an effort first, Frank, before giving up. I don't know. Those are the rules of life, Frank. They also happen to apply to this card game. All right, fine. Good. So what do I have to do first? Well, how about a kiss? Yeah, just, a, just a little peck. It won't hurt, Frank.
really hope you put more effort into the game, Frank. <laughs> This is why they call it quality time, Frank. That's what we'll be building on and achieving together. Playing and interacting and talking and connecting and bonding, getting to know how we really feel about it. Says Cosmo? Mary Claire. <laughs> oh, she. Not she, Frank, it. It is one of my monthly fashion magazine subscriptions. All right, well, you should tell Mary Elizabeth that we did all that already. <laughs> Mary Claire. Whatever. Hey. Five years ago, we did all that getting to know you crap, remember? Exactly, Frank. We need to work on our relationship daily, just like how we work on the house. The house has a boob tube that I enjoy working on very much. So can the relationship, Frank. Is that an innuendo? Frank, focus. I am. Okay. <laughs> you know how to play Go Fish, right? Yeah, sure. Good. <clears throat> Do you have any threes? Fuck off. <laughs> Excuse me? What? What did you say to me? I was playing the game, isn't that how you play? <laughs> You say go fish, Frank. Really? Okay, that is not how I played it before. <laughs> go fish yourself then. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have any threes, Frank. I know what a three looks like, dear. It's your turn. I know. I'm thinking. Can I get some silence? Just for a minute. I need to concentrate here. <laughs> Do you have any threes? I've already asked for threes. Yeah, so? And you said you didn't have any? I was bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't bluff and go fish. Yeah, well, I do. It's my technique. That's how I win. It's not a technique, Frank. It's my technique. You're just jealous because you didn't think of it first. I'm not jealous. <laughs> right. It's cheating. Nonsense. I'm not jealous. It's cheating, Frank. You're a cheater. <sighs> Maybe you should play Crazy Eights. Is that a drinking game? <laughs> It's a game where you shed your cards. It's from the 1940s, the war times. Where do you get all this from? I get this from my bi-monthly subscription to Card Player Magazine. You sound like a Jeopardy category. Uh, I'll take useless card info for $400. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you haven't heard of Crazy Eights. Astonishing, isn't it? Everyone knows Crazy Eights. Well, good. Go play with them. <laughs> Okay, look, we can play the Naked Eights version if you'd like. <laughs> There's a version called Naked Eights. Really? It's fun. And you played before? Sure. Jenny and Cindy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Where was I? <laughs> Don't know. When was this? I think it was Jenny's birthday. Uh huh. It was my first time trying it out. Jenny and Cindy, huh? Well, they're regulars at it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Interested? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you were. Well, I like variety, Frank. You know, spice is up the same old game. I agree. I love variety. And I also like spice. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Let's. You want to shuffle? <laughs> you, want to, you want to play here? <laughs> sure. You want to call Jenny and Cindy then? <laughs> this is just about us, Frank. All right. <laughs> it's the same rules except for the first eight cards are dealt face up, naked. And then? Then all subsequent cards picked up are face down, not naked. And then? <laughs> and then it's the same normal rules as you would normally play. 
What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? But that's it? <laughs> Do you want Frank a wild card? Something like that? <laughs> Frank. Sometimes I just don't think we're on the same page. I agree. We're not even in the same book. Well, that's why I want to try new things, new activities, new places. Get rid of all of the cards are naked? Yes. <laughs> it's a term they use. That's the term they decided to use. Yes. Who? Card Player Magazine? That's right. Oh, those guys must never get laid. <laughs> Frank. Losers! Can you just get your head out of the gutter for just like one second? Why? You changed your mind about dealing yet? My decision not to deal has only become stronger. <laughs> Suit yourself. You know, uh... You know Joyce and Ralph next door? Yep. Well, um... Well, Ralph and I talk now and then, and he was saying the other day that Joyce and him are, um, experimenting, too. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Couples need to do these types of things to keep the romance alive. Yeah, they don't play cards, though. Well, every couple has to find out what works best for them. Yeah, well, um, they find that working on, or rather experimenting, on their sex life, is really working for them, you know? Kicking the romance up, big time. <laughs> yeah, uh, just the other day, we were talking uh, about relationships uh, and bonding, romance, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and it came up, Ralph brought it up, I don't know why. <laughs> well, Ralph's like that, you know? So, it, uh... Seems that Miracle Whip isn't just for sandwiches anymore. <laughs> I had that exact same reaction when Ralph told me. <laughs> they have this game they play called Double Decker Sex Witch, which <laughs> I know at first <laughs> sounds different. Not your normal run of the mill, but Frank. if you think about it, it might just be worth a shot. Frank. Or a squirt. Frank! <laughs> I won. Huh? I won. How? You were disqualified. By who? First, I played multiples. Then I played the Queen of Spades and an Ace, and you lost a turn, and another turn, and another turn, leading to your eventual disqualification, and I won. How the hell did that happen so fast? I don't know. Women's World says that men aren't as good at multitasking as women. I guess they're right. I can multitask with the best of them. Just give me some Miracle Whip and a pickle. Frank! <laughs> you are clearly not concentrating, Frank, off in your own sordid world with Ralph, not focusing on what's right in front of you, and you lost. House at Home said this might happen. What now? Oh, or maybe it was Vogue. Are we done yet? It was Vogue. Can we go home, please? Home? That place that we love so much, you know? We fell in love there. We didn't. We were already in love when we moved in together, Frank. Right. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, Frank. What? Yeah, I try so hard sometimes. Sometimes I... I just feel like you don't love me anymore. Okay, why would you say that? It's just not the same as it used to be. We don't talk, we don't date, you never listen to me. I listen. What did I just say then? What did I just say then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a trick. You watch TV like you're in a coma. You never ask me how my day was or talk to me like how you used to. You don't even know when we fell in love. Uh, I don't even know if you remember my name. <laughs> But that's not true, honey. <laughs> I, talk. I talk all the time. Really? All the time. You haven't talked to me once this whole time. Well, what do you mean? What do you call this? Arguing, fighting, complaining, not talking, not sweet like how you used to. Sugar. <laughs> Sugar pie. <laughs> honey bunch. Oh, come on, you know I love you. I can't help myself. 
<laughs> I love you and nobody else. <laughs> Look, I'm not the perfect me, okay? If I sat here night and day and played the most perfect cards with you and drank cappuccino like a caffeine fiend, you would eventually get bored of that too. You would be the one telling me all about Miracle Whip and Sex Witch sandwiches and kiwi juice and marmalade all smothered. Oh. Okay, okay, stop. What did I say? Kiwis? Did you say kiwis? Huh? I love kiwis. Well, see, there you go. They're my new favorite food. And they could be our new favorite food. They have a very high source of vitamin C, according to Vegan Food Magazine. So, since when are you vegan? Since five friggin' years ago, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't pay close enough attention to you. I will try better and listen more. I'll ask more questions. Oh, and I'll listen to more answers. And ask more follow-up questions? Yes. And cook dinner once in a while? I cook. You order pizza. But you mean cook like that? <laughs> Don't you care about me anymore? Why would you say that? I took this quiz in Happy Woman magazine and... <laughs> I just realized that I'm not a happy woman. That I don't have a partner who talks and listens and cares about me and that makes me unhappy, Frank. I was talking to the girls about it the other day and Jenny said, It's all in your head, Sandy, but then I was like... Sandy! I was listening to everything you were saying right now and it was all very interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. And upsetting, of course. And I know I'm disappointed. You. And disappointing, yes. <laughs> but I have to tell you how I really feel because it's important to me. You're important to me. That's why I renewed my subscription to Psychology Today magazine because I think it helps me understand you better. In fact, that's why I have 37 magazine subscriptions and 14 free trial issues, Frank, to better <laughs> understand you. But I don't think, Frank, that you're trying to understand me. That's not true. Really? Yeah, I subscribe to magazines. Really? Yeah. Uh, it, never mind. That's not important. <laughs> we were talking about you. Which ones? Oh. Maybe I know it? Oh, I doubt it. I don't ever see you reading. Well? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of magazines? Well, they're, they're like, uh... Novelty magazines. <laughs> Novelty? What does that mean? I feel deeply <laughs> like I'm taking over the focus of the conversation. <laughs> 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 That's good. Why don't you talk for a while? <laughs> Say anything, just like move your lips together. That makes you happy, right? And I love it when you talk, really. Tell me about your day. Okay. That's great! <laughs> What's great? What you just said. <laughs> okay? Continue, I want to know more. Are you listening, Frank? Yes, I am! <laughs> okay. I got up. Uh-huh. I cleaned up. Yes. <laughs> I made breakfast. Yum! Tofu scramble and soy bacon. Yuck! <laughs> That's what that was? <laughs> what do you think you've been eating all this time, Frank? I just thought you were a bad cook. <laughs> Frank! M moving on. Moving on. So, then I cleaned up again. Uh-huh. I didn't see you for a long time. Where was I? Well, I guess you were in the bathroom. That's where I read my magazines. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you read your magazines? Um, Why don't we read together? That wouldn't work. Why not? If cards aren't going to work out for us, maybe reading will. We need an activity we can do together so that we can grow together. I know. 
We could start a book club. It could be so fun. We could host people. We could make vegan snacks and discuss themes in the book just like Oprah did. Let's not overdo it. We could read the Oprah magazine for good suggestions on book club etiquette. Okay, why don't we try cards again? I was really starting to like that last one. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't understand it. You didn't try to understand. It was a little misleading. I was trying to be so clear. You confused me it's with all game. that war talk and then naked talk. You mean the naked eights? There, there you go again. Frank. What was I supposed to think? Well, I don't know, Frank. What did you think? You thought I what? You thought I wanted to play strip poker with you here at the cafe? No. Is that really what you thought? No. Is it really, Frank? Well, no. Well, what did you think? Look, you're talking about all these activities, but you're missing the main number one activity that I'd love to do with you anytime, anywhere. You know what that is? Watch football? Yes. <laughs> no! I give up. Naked Eights. Naked Eights. Frank's version of Naked Eights. <laughs> Does it involve Miracle Whip? It doesn't have to. How do you feel about mustard? <laughs> Frank. There are some really nice ones. Nice mustard. Vegan friendly. Frank, you're making me feel uncomfortable about condiments. <laughs> just hear me out. <laughs> you know, I am shocked at just how close-minded you've become. Fine. How does your version of Naked Eights go? Okay, first off, there's no war. You know why? Why? Because you are the Naked Eight. Of course. I'll be the nine. You know why? Why? Because the nine comes after the eight. <laughs> <laughs> the cards keep their clothes on and everyone wins. What do you think? What do I think? What do you think? You know what I think, Frank? What do you think, Sugar Pie? I think it's time to play Old Maid. <laughs> <laughs>